Hello and welcome back to the Sitar Foundational Lesson Series. I'm Will Marsh. We're in the key of D today. And on this lesson 20, I'm going to do a basic 20-minute Riaz session. So a practice session that you can just join along with me in to get in a good practice. And we'll use different techniques that we've covered during this Foundational Lesson Series. So hopefully you've had a chance to work with them and they're familiar with you and now we're going to put them together into these practice sessions so you can just jump on and get in a good practice with me. So let's go ahead and start with our main octave scale from Sa to Sa. And we're going to do um, Da Ra Da Ra Da Ra Da Ra up and down the scale just to get our right hand cooking and our left hand um, warmed up too. So go ahead and join me here. One, two, three, four. Sa, sa, de, de, da, ra, da, ra, da, ra. Second finger. starting to feel warmed up. This is a great place to start your practice. And now we're going to take the full range of the main string, starting with the open string, Ma, going to the last fret, High Ma. If you don't have this fret, you can bend from the last fret that you do have, such as in this. But assuming you have this one, it'll be your second finger here. So what we'll do is two um, Da ra on each note, so da ra da ra, and working our way all the way up. So join me on this one. All of the same um, things we're looking for as in our other scale. Now we are just covering the lower notes and higher notes as well. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
repeat. Second finger, repeat. Good. Now let's try to do it straight with just alternating strokes, which would be... So this will give us a full scale with alternating da ra da ra. Here we go. Join me. One, two, three, four. So the last ma we do twice to keep our da ra's even. On the last ma I'm not repeating. Start. Good, so that covers the full range of your main string. Now I want to go into the second string, which is here, Sa, and I want to create our lower octave. And if you haven't worked on this, it'll be great to start adding it. Pretty much what we have on this saw string is we play three notes. We play open saw, first finger re, second finger ga. So one, two, three, and then we switch up to ma on the second string. So there's one change, sa, re, ga, here. It's nice to have this octave in your practice as well. Um, we'll do things where we start on this low string and continue to go up. But for now, I want to just practice this uh, low octave um, as a as a scale. So we'll do da ra da ra da ra da ra. And notice my second finger now ends here on sa. So let's do this together. Alternating da ra, starting on the second string sa. One, two, three, four. Sa, de, ga, ma, ga, 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 
second finger. So switch. So open. Open. Second finger. We'll do a little slower. So now you have this octave and this octave. So incorporate both of these into your practice. Now to finish today, I want to go into our three note pattern, which involves the three note right hand stroke, which is da ra da da ra da one two. Get this in your hand with me. Da 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 da. You want to show that three. One two 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 three. Now, if we do this with a three-note pattern, or Right hand will be doing this three note, and then our left hand will be sa de ga de ga ma ga ma ga ma ga 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 ni ga ni sa. So let's look at this left hand. We're doing three notes, so the first will be sa de ga, and our pattern will always be the same. Will be first finger, first finger, second. And if you keep this, first finger, first finger, second, to start the next pattern, you just lift your second finger, and that begins the next one. So one, two, three, de, ga, ma. So watch that again. First finger, first finger, second, first finger, first finger, second. We really want to make sure we're following that first finger, first finger, second. It becomes very easy because the second finger simply lifts up and we're ready for the next pattern. So try this three note palta with me. And the right hand is sticking with this da ra da da ra da. So we've got a few things going on. Uh, let's work on it. One, two, three, sa, de, ga, de, ga.
good. So once you get this palta in your hand, uh, the rest will come easy. You can speed it up as it gets comfortable. And we've had a good practice session today. We've done our main octave scale, full range of the main string, lower octave, and then the three note palta. So if you continue to work on these, um, adding the next patterns and paltas will come easily. So thanks for joining me on this 20-minute uh, Riaz session. It's been a pleasure having you. Uh, I invite you to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It'll keep you in the loop with uh, new lessons as they come out. And I'm going to keep doing these Riaz sessions where you can just jump in and practice with me on the things that we've learned throughout this series. Uh, so yeah, it's important that you implement them and keep practicing them. Uh, they're not just going to happen overnight. So uh, again, thank you. I'd be happy to work with you uh, individually as well if that would support your sitar learning. You can see more about that through my website, willmarshmusic.com. There's the lessons section, and it's easy to schedule and work with me uh, virtually over Zoom. So it's been a pleasure. Happy practicing. See you on the next class.